Support for Kalamazoo Lively Arts is provided by the Irving S. Gilmore Foundation. Watch Kalamazoo Lively Arts every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Up next, we feature the wide-reaching and long-running Kalamazoo Institute of Arts Art Fair. In 1951, the KIA launched the Kalamazoo Institute of Arts Fair to provide an opportunity for local artists to exhibit and sell their work. 64 years later, the fair is bigger than ever with an astounding 187 jury-selected artists and a crowd of over 40,000. People come from across the United States and Canada for this two-day event, held every year the first weekend in June. This year, the Kalamazoo Institute for the Arts brought in Patrick Hirschberger, a graffiti-inspired street artist to do live art-making demonstrations in the center of Bronson Park, the place where the arts fair has been held since its conception. Other attractions include live musical performances, children's events such as face painting, spoon art, a scavenger hunt, and a parade, and the irresistible fair from South Street Food Trucks. They've certainly been getting uh, uh, more people, it seems like. When we first started coming, there wasn't nearly the uh, diversity of medium or the uh, media, and uh, this is just spectacular. There's Everything is represented here, so mm -hmm. we love it. Um, we came out to spend more family time uh, with our family members uh, to, and to see what the authors, local authors have to offer, artists have to offer. Um, it's the weather's great. Um, this is my first time here, so I just kind of want to experience what uh, Kalamazoo, Michigan is about. My name is Mary Acton. I'm from Chesterton, Indiana, and I do Ukrainian egg dyeing, pisanki eggs. They are real eggs. I empty the real egg and then I uh, dye them. I use a wax, a beeswax, and it's a technique where you wax and then you dye it a color and then you wax it again and you dye it and you change colors and uh, then when you're all finished you remove the wax and you've got your beautiful designs. Um, I'm a retired elementary teacher and I um, always wanted to learn and when I retired I took a class for a week long at a folk school in North Carolina and I just fell in love with the craft and I've been doing it ever since. It's fun to meet people who know a little bit about it or nothing about it and all the different egg sizes and learn about it. Um, I'm trying to do different art fairs and I was accepted and this is my second year here and it's a wonderful place to come. I really enjoy uh, art and I enjoy something that's local as opposed to something that's manufactured by a large company. So I, I think it's really nice. I think it's very nice. Some of the, um, the woodwork has been unbelievable, um, some incredible craftsmanship and creativity. My name is Keith Money, and I do woodworking. I've been doing it for probably 10 years. I uh, make trivets. I do turning with uh, making wine or pepper shakers and salt and pepper and bowl. And uh, we use recycled wine corks. And then I, uh, I take tile, I grout it, put the, my wife does the wine, or puts the wine corks on, and then I make my frames out of, but the, all of the wood that I do is hardwood and it's all rough sawn when I start, and then I finish it so that it is attractive and functional. It's, my wine cork trivets are probably one of my most popular items, and they, they last forever and it, it does they do a very good job and it's just a little nicer putting a, a trivet on the table than it is a pot holder or a towel. I got doing this a while back because it was a stress reliever and I just enjoy doing it. Uh, so I make this stuff during the summer and we come out. It's uh, it, it's interesting with walking around and meeting all the people and seeing what's what's what they do and how they do it. We really love coming to the show. Every year we're out here. Uh, it's just so great to see everybody outdoors. It's spring. It's uh, and uh, all the creative art. I just love it. Um, I think it's definitely a good way to like expand your horizons and see new things as a family. It hasn't rained. We're getting exercise. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I think there's a really um, strong support for the local arts mm -hmm. and the artists. Um, I think it's a very diverse community. 
um, in some yeah. ways. Mm -hmm. It is, uh, but there's always been a strong emphasis on supporting the arts. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, from the Gilmore Festival to uh, the uh, jazz groups coming out of uh, Western Michigan. Oh, um, well spring with dance. Uh, I mean, in so many different ways, the arts are well represented. Uh, and, and it's a tribute to love the town, going I to think. the uh, Art Institute just around the corner. So, yeah, we've, we've always enjoyed coming down. We love being here. So. Watch Kalamazoo Lively Arts every Tuesday at 6 p.m.